Good morning. So it's really dingy and damp this morning. It doesn't make you want to get up and get going, but we must. So um, we have quite an interesting one this morning and I, I really hope that this will be, I just read the first paragraph, will be um, a great encouragement and a great um, pointer for us all because I think we can all slip into this, this first bit that I'm gonna read. So ours today is known is know your commander in chief. Psalm 68 verse one says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. It's interesting to listen to how some Christians talk. You may hear them talking about what the devil did to them, how they got really mad at the devil and how they spent that a whole night rebuking him. Such Christians may also go around telling people what the devil has been telling them, but you don't really hear them talk about what the Lord has been telling them. Guess what? They've tuned in to the wrong frequency. Instead of magnifying Jesus and his presence and being conscious of him, they are magnifying the devil and being more devil conscious than Jesus conscious. It's really sad. They are always talking about warfare and the devil. Do you know that the best warfare to engage in is to magnify the Lord Jesus in your life. The Bible declares, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, amen. Recently, I had a conversation with a medical doctor about spiritual warfare. She said this to me, when there is a condition in your body, you must know what the correct medical name for it is so that you can pray against it accurately. Then she told me, somewhat smugly, smugly. As someone who's been in the army, you should know this. The most important military strategy is to know your enemy. I smiled at her and said, actually, I believe that the most important military strategy is not to know your enemy, but to know your commander in chief and his directives for you. My friend, do you know your commander in chief, Jesus Christ? Do you know with full assurance that his presence and unmerited favor are with you? Start practicing the presence of Jesus in your life today and see what a difference he will bring to your situation. That's really interesting, isn't it? Because I've heard those things before about people saying, you know, you need to pray accurately. Um, years and years ago, Someone actually told me that if you don't pray accurately, God will, will give you something different. And I never could understand that. They were saying if you, if you want, um, I don't know, if you're trusting God for a new piece of furniture or something, you need to tell him the colour and the size and all this and that. And I'm like, I was thinking, well, God's not dumb either. The Bible says he gives us the desires of our hearts. And actually that we can trust him, that he's a good father. He won't give us um, a rock when we ask for bread or something. And I just thought actually this, this whole thing of praying accurately can be so binding because we get more caught up in the accuracy of things and we lose sight of the greatness of our God and our reliance on him and because otherwise we're relying on the accuracy of our prayers. When actually we rely on the goodness of our God. And, and it's so um, important that we are Jesus focused, not devil focused. Yes, there are times that we need to stand up to the devil. But for me, I don't do that in rebuking the devil. I do that in glorifying Jesus. The more focused on Jesus I am, the less room there is for the devil. The more Jesus is in my life, the devil can't be. You know, we, we see in the Bible everywhere that Jesus went, you know, the demons fled. They can't be there when Jesus is. So it's more about lifting Jesus up in, in all the situations. <clears throat> I thought today, I will be Jesus conscious not devil conscious. And our prayer, Lord Jesus, I want to experience a closer walk with you. I want to know you more intimately and be conscious of your presence and unmerited favor in my life. 
Help me understand your plans and purposes for me so that I may be wise in how I spend my days. In Jesus' name. Amen. Apparently, this weather's going to clear up today. I, I do. I don't know about that. But um, hope you have a good day anyway. See you tomorrow. Bye.